The seven star Inteleon Terror Raid event is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details in today's video as well as the best Pokemon to solo this with in your game. So the first phase of this Inteleon 7 star raid will be running from the 28th of April as of recording this video. It will run in its first phase to the 30th and then it will return for that second phase on the 5th of May. For its second time around, the moves that this Inteleon is going to carry are Blizzard, Snipeshot, Dark Pulse, Tearful Luck, Mist and Snowscape as its additional moves. No threat of Air Slash, Air Cutter or even Acrobatic, so no flying type stabs on here. But interesting moves with the Mist to prevent any stat drops on its side of the field for 5 turns. Obviously the Snowscape as well, which we did talk about in our preview article boosting the defense on that ice terror typing that it does have for five turns as long as the hail stays on the field and it boosts the accuracy of the blizzard which can be quite threatening it will of course have the mightiest mark and other than that it will have all of the standard seven star terror raid traits uh, along with it you're going to get a bunch of really good high cost items a bunch of ice terror shots here as well ability patches and level up candies and then other high cost items to access this event in your game you're going to need to come down to your poker portal make sure you are connected to the internet and then come down to mystery gifts which is right down the bottom here and then come to check poker portal news this will just connect update all your terror raid dens in your area and once you've done that you want to just come onto your map and locate the seven star terror raid event and there we go you can see it looks like a six star terror raid but it will have the ice terror typing so once you've located it just head over to this so if you hadn't guessed it already annihilate is going to be one of the pokemon that i'm going to suggest as one of the best pokemon to go in and solo this inteleon with in your games hopefully a lot of you already have an annihilate built for this one specifically for the the Inteleon we've got a fighting terror type on it and the expert belt as the held item the move set is primarily going to be the drain punch bulk up sunny day and rage fist with an ev spread of 252 attack and then 252 special defense with an adamant nature and the big important thing here is that defiant ability because you're going to be taking advantage of the tearful look from that Inteleon which will drop your attack and your special attack but it will then proc the defiant ability to boost your attack back up so you can do a bit more damage bulk up is going to be there over something like screech which is going to be a little irrelevant in this match because of that turn one mist that the Inteleon will throw up and you'll not be able to lower any of its stats for the first five turns and then its shield will go up and it's going to be a pretty null and void the sunny day is really important for this set because you're going to be able to over right that snowscape that it does set up turn zero as well it means you get rid of that defensive boost that the ice type gets from that snowscape being active on the field and then rage fist is just a secondary attack that you can use at the end of the game but this is the annihilate like i say the builds will be in the description if you want to take a closer look at them and if you're tired of using annihilate a nice option another option that you can use is going to be primate it's pre-evolution and you can throw an evo light on it here we've got the fighting terror type again for the prime ape here and it is level 100 like the annihilate with sunny day bulk up drain punch and rage fist exactly the same set but make sure that your ability isn't like the anger point here that i've got and it is the defined ability so you can take advantage of that tearful look with an ev spread of 252 attack 252 special defense with the rest put in hp with an adamant nature but primarily it will be annihilate again going into this terror raid it's probably going to be one of the best options going in and beating it so once you've found the raid and you've got your pokemon all trained up you want to just come in and challenge this inteleon okay as we get into the raid i'll talk you through the first few turns because it is quite important this first turn this turn zero here with the inteleon it will set up the mist which is going to prevent any stat drops on its side of the field for the first five turns and it will also set up the snowscape as well which alongside its ice terror typing will give it a defensive boost as long as that hail is active on the field this is why it's important turn one to always go for the sunny day just to overwrite the snowscape the blizzards while the hail is on the field is going to be 100 percent accurate it does a lot of damage as well you are able to take it of course but with the sun up you do reduce the accuracy of the the blizzard and you take that defensive boost away as well now don't bulk up straight away because it will Will nullify your kind of um, your stat boost pretty early on in the game but the tearful look is something that it will utilize now this is a really nice 
uh, way to take advantage of the Defiant ability when it is dropping your stat, you are going to get boosts for your troubles. So you're going to be able to do some good damage initially with this Drain Punch and then heal all your health back with the Annihilate just because of the sheer natural bulk that it does have. You can see the shield goes up pretty early on in this battle as well. So once the shield goes up, this is when you are going to want to start just trying to chip away at it before you can terrestrialize. The other option that you've got on the Annihilate to consider is if you don't want to use the Expert Belt and you are worried about getting frozen, you can see there is the abilities all rem and our stats removed. So we've just got that special attack drop there now so we can go for that bulk up now because this is going to come in handy for us to close this battle about a bit quicker um but if you are worried about freezes in this battle like i was saying then you can also change out the expert belt for something like the covert clock so you don't have to worry about being frozen in this battle now you probably want to only go for about two bulk ups the thing is if intellion goes for another tier for luck as well it's going to even help you out even more so we'll see after this bulk up what our stats look like but we know the abilities and our stats have already been reduced so after this point we're kind of safe to terrestrialize and start really cutting through this thing and making really quick work of Inteleon. So Annihilate probably, like I say, going to be one of the best Pokemon to take in and solo this raid with. If you look at our stats now, you can see we're plus five already with that tier for luck and those two bulk ups. So we're in a good spot to just start throwing these drain punches out. With this build of Annihilate, as long as you kind of conduct yourself like we have done, how we've approached this battle and uh, not bulking up too soon, uh, you may get lucky with tier for lucks. Uh, and if the snowscape goes up like this, just prioritize getting rid of that snowscape first and foremost, because if you don't, then the blizzards will hit. But I mean, in this point, you're probably all right just to go for another drain punch here um, because we are plus five and we're going to be doing a lot of damage with that shield down, although the defensive boost is up. But if the health is a bit more on the Inteleon, then it's probably worth just going for the sunny day, getting rid of that snowscape on the field, reducing the accuracy of the blizzard as well and taking away that defensive boost you can see here will be 100 percent accurate blizzard is going to do a fair amount but we take it pretty comfortably and this just sets us up to close this one out and uh, with plenty of time left on that battle timer as well and there we go there is inteleon there are the item drops we get an ability patch as well which is pretty nice and uh, we get all of those candies so we have inteleon of course it is a nice addition for the event pokemon that we've had so far and sword and shield and you can also take advantage of this event over the weekend by just farming this event for the high cost items and the level up candies that you get from it so once you beat the raid then if you want to beat it once again in game what you can do is just open your map it makes it a bit easier to see that you've done this right hit your home menu then come down to your system settings then into system then into date and time and then in this section here make sure your synchronized clock is off via the internet up here click into date and time and just click all the way through to okay and then hit your home menu come back into the game and all your dens will change you can see that they're changing you'll be able to locate the seven star terror raid event again wherever it is on our map and we can head over to it and we can repeat this process with our annihilate and just farm for these items for the rest of the weekend or until you've got as many of these items as you want so that is everything for today's video friends i hope you found it useful leave a comment down below and let me know what pokemon you have been using to most success to solo this and tell you i'm with in your games thank you so much for tuning in please drop a like if you found today's video useful do so subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. Now we'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.